Hello viewers and welcome once again to another edition of our women's program Karim Pei. Well, today we will be talking about the ancient science that has been being practiced for over 5000 years which aligns the body, the mind and the spiritual being and brings one closer, one step closer to enlightenment. Yes, it is none other than yoga. So today in this program, we will be speaking about this practice called yoga and how yoga since 2014, when the Prime Minister of our country brought it to the world platform, when he spoke, he made a speech at the UN General Assembly and this day came into being, that is the day called International Day of Yoga, which is of course uh, celebrated, observed every year on 21st of June and uh, well, but then keeping aside a day for yoga is something special, no doubt. But yoga is a practice that it is done almost every day by many people around the world. This ancient science has caught up literally with the imaginations of people because of its immense health benefits that it provides. And today in this program, we will be talking about yoga to understand yoga a bit better, what are its benefits, especially in the context of women's health and happiness. And to share with me all the wonderful words of wisdom and all the wonderful things that yoga does for us, for our health especially, I'm being joined here by a guest and she is of course uh, Dr. Anamika Upadhyay. Uh, Dr. Anamika Upadhyay is a faculty from the Department of Environmental Science at Northeastern Hill University, Shillong and she's also the faculty of the Art of Living. So. A very, very warm welcome to you, Dr. Namika, to this program of ours. And uh, today we'll be talking about yoga, yeah. right? As soon as I say the word yoga, what comes to your mind? How important is yoga? What is yoga? What comes to my mind? Uh, I, I think I think I should tell you what comes to people's mind. Right. You know, yoga. As soon as we say yoga, people think of yoga as postures, mm -hmm. but. If you look back, if you look back into the ancient scriptures, posture is just one part of yoga. Right. You know, yoga, yoga asanas. We all relate to yoga asanas with the postures, mm. but actually yoga is being with yourself, the way you introduced it. Mm -hmm relating to yourself, being with yourself and how you can, you know, communicate with others, mm. how you can very well uh, align with yourself and to the nature mm. and live happily with all the different kind of people. That okay. is what actually yoga is. Okay. It sounds it, quite simple. That means, it, it, that means we are doing yoga every, every day. That means? Yes, definitely right? we are doing yoga mm. every day. Mm. It's just that, you know, we as a child when we were born we were very happy mm. we would never think of anything we would never keep any grudges you look at look into a child's behavior mm. she can cry she can smile within two seconds within mm. two minutes she'll again come back and show the same tantrums again mm -hmm. that is what we all are we all are the same inside mm -hmm. it's just that you know the rat race the chasing of our dreams the layers of responsibility, competition, negativity, that has, you know, uh, covered mm -hmm. that small child in us. Okay. And yoga is actually uncovering the same thing. Right. Mm -hmm. So it helps us bring out our innate self. Yes. Right? Definitely. The pure self. The pure self. Yeah. The beautiful, smiling you. Mm. Okay. Just look at the adult. Yeah. How how much how often do we smile? Right. We hardly smile, right. yeah. Right. But people, the moment you say yoga, they think that oh, I can't do it because it's, it's very difficult. tough. Yeah. yeah, my body doesn't allow. Mm. I cannot do it. Mm. But I say yoga is for every generation, every section of the society, and every age group. Mm. You look at a small child when she or he is born. A small child when they are born. Mm. You look at them how they are in their bed. Mm. They are doing certain yoga postures mm. there itself. So you know it. We are born with it. Okay. Okay. So it's just that we have been covered with the dust of too many responsibilities right. and all. Yeah. And I think generally speaking, as soon as, as you also mentioned, when we say yoga, we actually understand that different postures, yes. asanas, yes. right? And maybe to some extent, maybe meditation, some breathing exercises. Correct. But then apart from that, there are different types of yoga, right? Yes. Quickly, yeah. you would like to share with us what the different See, types of yoga are? See, there are different schools of yoga. Yeah. 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 
like in patanjali yoga sutra if i go back to the scripture mm -hmm. the Pat patanjali is known as the father of yoga mm -hmm. he never mentioned any asana in his book okay any asana mm -hmm. he talked about how you can live okay. what is your behavior should be according to him whatever one does is yoga like what you just said mm -hmm. yeah then there are other books like mm -hmm. hatha yoga pradipika there are hatha yogas there they, they they do a kind of a, you know tough yoga postures mm -hmm. what why do we do yoga postures it's because to calm our mo body okay. we are too restless mm -hmm. our mind is too restless when we are in agitation we cannot calm our mind so when we do yoga postures and when we do it with awareness you know, we, we breathe in and then we relax and then we know where are we stretching, where are, where are uh, you know, the pain is happening and you know, all those things. Mm. Then we come back to that point and then we relax. Mm. Then the meditation happens very easily. And then in that meditation, you touch yourself. Okay. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, Dr. Anamika, you will also, you know, uh, agree to the fact that how the world has taken it up, you know, yeah. Previously, since I think some years back also, say a decade back also, it was more towards India, right? Yeah, it was known definitely. to be uh, an Indian practice. But today, I mean, you go wherever, whichever part of the world. In fact, people come from abroad to learn yoga. Definitely. They, have, they have just literally embraced. Definitely. Obviously, there's a whole lot of goodness in it and that's why yes, they are doing it, definitely. right? So what are the goodness of yoga? Like I said, it's a practice the way you live. Mm. So in this world where we are chasing so many things, mm. where we are not into ourselves mm. also, mm. we don't know what we are doing, what we want. At times we are just chasing our dreams without even realizing. Mm -hmm. So living with awareness and forgetting that, you know, rat race, mm. that brings the people towards yoga. When they realize that, you know, you can touch yourself, you can be yourself and you can be happy mm. with yourself without material. Material things, of course, is needed. Mm -hmm. It is the need of the hour. You know, you right. need car. Yeah. These are necessities. Yeah, necessities These are yeah. necessities, yeah. Yeah. not yeah. luxury anymore. Mm -hmm. These are necessities. But with that, are we happy with ourselves? Okay. That is what brings people to yoga. Mm. Especially so for the Western world that you're mm. saying. Mm. They have accomplished everything, everything right. materially. Yeah. Everything. Huh. Yeah. But then in the process of, you know, uh, achieving those they're losing themselves mm. they're losing the touch of that social being mm. they they're losing the touch of being happy mm. the smile is losing mm. so to bring back that smile yoga is there yeah. and yoga also with the different there are of course many asanas right i mean can you really count how many asanas or exercises are there uh, there are, there are. Uh, yeah. I actually do not there remember many. right now. Yeah. Yes, yes. Right. But what I'm trying to tell you is that, yeah. so obviously there are some very, you know, people have health issues, right? Yes. There are different types of health definitely, issues. Definitely, definitely. But I, I am told that yoga has also cured people of those yes. quite tough and difficult health issues also. Yes, definitely. Right? definitely. And especially when we come to the context of women. Women have uh, uh, problems which may be a little different from, you know, because we are nurturers, we are, we give birth, etc. Uh, of course, the common problems of stress and, you know, you know, those issues are there. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, women has other issues, which is particularly, you know, in yeah. the context yes. of women. Yeah. How does yoga help in those situations? See, like you mentioned, women are nurturers, women are givers, mm -hmm. mostly. Mm -hmm. So we do not take out time for ourselves. Exactly. That is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. We are so much into giving mm -hmm. that we forget about ourselves. And we forget that if we are strong, then only we can give a stronger, we can build a stronger society, mm -hmm. a stronger family. family first, yeah. yeah. So for that, I say that just take out 15, 20 minutes of your time. If you cannot take out 15-20 minutes of your time, even if you are while on your work, mm -hmm. do something for yourself. I will show you, I will, we can demonstrate some of the yoga asanas. Right. Which we will be yeah. doing later, yes. The most common mm -hmm. problem that a woman can face mm -hmm. is backache. Mm -hmm. Say yes or no. Yes, every, absolutely. Every absolutely. small girl yeah. will start complaining mm -hmm. about backache. Mm -hmm. We have lots of 
uh, yogasanas, mm -hmm. uh, which which actually can cure mm -hmm. and it can give you relief mm -hmm. if with backache. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have PCODs right these days. Okay. Okay. All those problems are there. Mm -hmm. Then of course we cannot focus. We are so much stressed out that we can't even think while cooking. We can't even think whether it's we're, whether we are doing it properly or not. Mm -hmm. we, we are thinking about somebody else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in everything, every day, every mm -hmm. work that we mm -hmm. do, we can bring in a lot of joy mm -hmm. only if we practice some bit of yoga yeah, here. Yeah. So that means that as you said that you know every woman at least should try to take out 15-20 yeah. minutes, 20 minutes from her hectic schedule Definitely. and devote it to herself so that she not only builds her, herself in a stronger way but also builds a stronger family. Yeah. Right? And, uh, Later, of course, you will be, uh, you know, we will be seeing demonstrations. Mm -hmm. We have uh, two young girls who will be demonstrating yes. to us. Yes. Now, can you be a little specific into some of the asanas? Like, which are some of the asanas, particularly in the context of women, that can be done for elevating some of their, you know, health issues or concerns? Okay. We will be doing cat and cow postures. Okay. okay? That will give you a relief in your uh, backache. Mm -hmm. Very common, again, uh, for men, women, and even very young uh, kids also mm -hmm. we have uh, bowel movement problem okay. constipation right. irregular bowel movement uh -huh. we will do one asan which is known as tadasan okay. yeah standing and, tall and, asan yeah. and many girls also sometimes suffer from cramps, cramps. Know, menstrual yes, cramps we will etc do, we will do butterfly mm -hmm. posture okay. for that right. yeah okay. this will help in so their these menstrual these and many more many more there. asanas yeah. will be there yeah. yeah and and another thing that comes to my mind is that you know most women i mean when we are talking mm -hmm. about women they are definitely we yes. we we accept the fact that they can, they should be married, mm -hmm. and they must be having children. Mm -hmm. But can they also start? I mean, when is the starting period for? There is no starting period. Okay. You can start any time, any time. Mm -hmm. Like I, like in the beginning, I told you, mm -hmm. yoga can be done at any age. Mm -hmm. You start slow, but you can go. Mm -hmm. You've seen many examples also. Mm -hmm. See, old women, they are doing a lot of Surya Namaskar 108 times and they are comp mm -hmm. you know, taking part in competition and all. Mm -hmm. You can always start mm -hmm. any time. But, then, uh, but then sometimes people also say that you, know, you must uh, consult a doctor. Supposing you yeah. know, some uh, women yes, are yes. already having mm -hmm. some illnesses mm -hmm. and they are uh, taking medicines mm -hmm. for that and they are a clinical case mm -hmm. perhaps. Mm -hmm. Then, before starting, yes. do they have to take and one, a... Yeah, mm. this is a very important question. Mm. Thank you for reminding mm. me. Mm. Uh, you know, you cannot do yoga on your own. Mm. You should not. Mm. There are a lot of TV channels mm. and this and that. Too many things are there. Right. But you, sh you should always, it's always advisable to go to an instructor. Okay. Because you know that instructor will tell you what is your problem, mm. what you can do. There are many do's and don'ts. Mm. If you do not do it properly, then you may again hamper your health. All right. Yeah. So, so what are some of the do's? Okay, some of the do's are you can start any Anytime. at but any uh, age under uh, supervision. Under supervision. Yeah. Under the, yeah. Do not do not ex exert yourself. Mm -hmm. Do not overstrain yourself. Mm -hmm. These days, you know, yoga. What they do is the moment you say yoga and you see somebody doing beautiful stretches. Mm -hmm. They think that this person must be a very good instructor okay. or a very good, uh, mm. you know, yoga enthusiast, mm, yeah. Mm, mm. But not necessarily that your body will accept that. Mm. And then sometimes what we do is we negate ourselves. We mm. say that uh, I will not be able to do that, mm. so I can never start. Mm. Don't do that. You can start anytime. It's up to your body's flexibility. You know, you can, you you stretch as much as you can, mm. as much as your body allows, mm. and a little bit more, so that next day you are growing in mm -hmm. your own self mm -hmm. so when when i start like i don't do any yoga i mean so you can always start yeah i can <laughs> always start but then um, you know initial uh, for few days i will be having some cramps and you know muscle yes. pull maybe yeah yes. it will be yes. a little no, bit you do uh, it in a uh, very hard way, way yeah. yeah if i push myself it's too, too hard, much yeah yeah too much right and so uh, so you said there are certain do's and don'ts when it uh, mm -hmm. comes to you know doing yoga but then the immense benefit that yoga has for each one of us yeah. that itself in the long run will give us you know will will make us want to do it want to do it yes right? yeah. it's like pursuit of happiness uh -huh. you you will you will really go for it because you know mm. what you are going to get mm -hmm. through it yeah. no? so uh, how will i tell you like the don'ts you said oh. what should not be done yeah very easy you can you should not start doing okay i am full i have eaten my lunch mm. 
now let's start yoga mm. never do that okay. yeah you cannot run mm. with your full stomach. full stomach so there are certain things that you and you should drink a lot of water like you said mm. you may get a lot of strain mm. pain in your body once you start start slow okay. start with the very subtle exercises mm. like we we say sukshma vyayam sukshma means subtle vyayam means exercise mm -hmm. there are exercises like um, Okay, we all are into computers, mm. we all are into phones, right. but do we do something to relieve our stress in our, in our eyes or in our neck that we develop every day? Mm. No, even, even women, they are so stressed up, but then they relax themselves by watching TV. Mm. Again, watching TV gives them strain in their eyes. Mm. Yeah? Mm. So there are certain small, small exercises only here mm. if you do it. Mm. Sukshma Vyaya means mm. subtle exercise. Mm. So that you can do it and then feel relaxed. Mm. Relax with your breath in and out. Okay. Yeah. And meditation. Is yeah. meditation also part of yoga? Because you know often... It simultaneously it, mm. happens. Okay. Actually for people they mm. think meditation is... It's something special and different. Serious, you have to serious. be very focused okay. while doing. Exactly. Okay. Let me ask you. Huh. What do you think meditation is? What well, for, you I, is for me, meditation is to sit calmly in a in a room, be mm -hmm. quiet. There should be no noise, much really. Mm -hmm. I should be, you know, in a in a particular posture. Okay. I should be focused because somebody told me that Focus. you have to look at that one point okay. and slowly you breathe in out and yeah. well, you it uh, relaxes you. For you. But then, yeah, yeah. that is that yeah. is for what you, yoga. I, am, I mean, yeah. meditation is uh, what I understand. And some people they say for meditation is concentration, hmm. but no. Meditation is not concentration. Concentration is the result. Focus is the result of meditation. Okay. Meditation is deconcentrating. Mm -hmm. You just be with yourself. Mm -hmm. Relax. Like you said, you need a calm, quiet space. Mm -hmm. No, if you can be with, it, with yourself in a crowded place, that itself may, is meditation. But sometimes it may not be possible, like, like it's a very noisy place mm -hmm. and you know there's too much of noise, uh, traffic noise, how will I concentrate? Just so accept I think the noise okay. and be with yourself. Okay. See, the moment you start accepting things, mm. they will not bother you. Mm. So and that can be anything and everything, right? Anything and everything. Because we are always so bothered with so many things, exactly. other people's business becomes our business, right? Definitely. <laughs> yeah. And that gives us a lot of yeah. unease and mental stress. Yeah. Yeah. Not so, just other people's mm, business. There, mm. are, there are certain times when you are guilty, you feel guilty about yourself, yeah, your yeah. actions itself. Yeah, 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 and that bothers you so much. much yeah, yeah, you, know, yeah. mm. you may say that I'm a very, um, I don't really bother into anybody's personal mm, matters. Mm, mm. But then what, are you not torturing yourself with your own thoughts? Mm. I, you, you tend to be a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. These days, a lot of people go for being perfectionist. Mm -hmm. yeah? And that is being hard on yourself again. Yeah? Okay. You, can, you just have to let loose. Let go is the mm -hmm. key word, De the mantra. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and decongesting, literally, oh, yes. the, not, the mind especially. Mm -hmm. right? Freeing mm -hmm. the mind mm -hmm. for new thoughts, for new things, uh, you know, for better things to, yeah, yeah. Yeah. to get in. Positivity to right. get in. And yoga yeah. does all of that. Yes, right? and meditation. Okay, since we are talking about meditation, we all go for dental hygiene, mm -hmm. physical hygiene. We all take bath, we all, ta we all brush. What about the mental garbage that we collect every day? You meditation, yes, meditation is the mental hygiene. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you can clean your garbage every day. We do not want to keep the dustbin here, right? Mm -hmm. It stinks. Mm -hmm. And when it stinks, it will definitely affect, affect the body. The body. Also. So, yeah. so many a problem, a physical problem could, could be the result of what we are keeping in our mind. Yes, right? definitely. So yes. if we empty our mind, like how we empty the trash can, mm -hmm. you know, we again... It, it, there's a yeah. term called psychosomatic diseases. Okay, yeah. yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. You've heard, you yes. must have heard of this. Yes, yes. Psychosomatic. It's actually the thought that is created mm. that generates the problem in our body mm. and it aggravates and take a form of a disease. Right. Mm. So we have almost coming to, a, to an end, Dr. Yeah. Anamika, of this program. Though I could have gone on yes, and on actually, yes, but then we have to watch certain yeah. demonstrations also sure. that you will be teaching our mm -hmm. you know, viewers who will be watching this program. So as we almost come to an end, what is the kind of words of wisdom that you would like to specially pass on to our viewers, the young ladies, the girls, even the teenagers, because you said, you know, yoga can be started by anybody, a young girl, a child, to a teenager, to a woman, 
to an elderly woman too. So what is the kind of, you know, uh, nice words that you would like to share with all of our viewers who are watching this program today? Never say no. When we say yoga, people say that I do a lot of work, so I do not need yoga. Mm -hmm. Yeah? But when you do yoga, you do it with awareness. Even if you're walking, mm. for, for instance, you walk with awareness. A lot of people say that they do morning walk, mm. but then they are with their headphone. Mm. Loud music is going on. They don't know what's happening to your body. Observe your body, observe yourself. Your body your, itself is a treasure house of medicine. Mm. Treasure house of how to cure healing yourself is, you know, you have the power of healing yourself. So you can do it. Everybody can do it. And there is no age. You can start anytime, anywhere. Okay. But then, as you said, take initially some help from, a, from, a, yeah, yes. from an instructor. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Short and sweet, uh, you thank know, conversation you. it was. You. And I'm sure, you know, we have gathered a lot of nice things from you. The viewers especially have learned. And what you said just now, I have seen also myself that morning walkers, mm. they walk, they jog, but with their headphones. Yeah. So they are not conscious of their being. At right? least, yeah. At least let's, you know, let's keep a rest. We give rest to technology and give rest to ourselves also for okay. some time. Okay. Wonderful. So on that note, thank you so much, Dr. Anamika Upadhyay. Thank you. For, for, you know, being with us, uh, you know, and telling us the wonderful world of yoga and the immense benefit that it can give to each one of us. And it doesn't matter when we start, yes. but what matters is that we should we start. We should start. Right? It's never late. It's never late. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. You. Well then, my dear viewers, you have just heard Dr. Namika speaking so wonderfully. I think, you know, after watching this program, you are also already inspired to, do, to make yoga part of your everyday life. Just 15-20 minutes of it also is enough to give you an immense benefit. And when you will see those benefits happening to your body, to your mind and to your spiritual being especially, I am sure that you will be actually encouraged to take it up every single day. Don't go anywhere because coming up shortly we have uh, our two young girls Muskan and Brinda who are also here with us who will be demonstrating some asanas, some yoga postures for us and I'm sure from those also you can learn a little bit more. So stay with us and uh, well until next time from all of us here we are bidding you goodbye. We will start with Sukshma Vyayam. Gently place your, both your hands on your head, on top of your head and slightly massage, breathing in and out, round and one side and then breathing out the other side, opposite direction, then on top of your head and massage both, give pressure, little pressure on your head, relax, massage the forehead by the side of your temple, gently, with a smile, bring down to your jaws. Now with your forefinger and your thumb, slightly pinch your eyebrows and go towards the corner, from mid to the corner, pinch it and take it. With your forefinger, the first finger you slightly bring down under your eye massage your under eye this is a very good exercise for de-stressing your facial muscles now with three fingers place it just below your cheeks and massage it in a circular way opposite direction and relax now hold your ears and pull your ears up down all the way up sides and down gentle smile on your face relax massage your throat and relax now we will do some eye exercises open your eyes wide and show the white part wide and squeeze your eyes close and squeeze open wide again and squeeze wide open wider and squeeze relax 
Open your eyes. Look up. Don't move your head. Only your eyeballs. Look up. Look down. Look up again. Look down. Up. And down. And relax. Now again open your eyes. Look towards your right. Then left, right and left. Relax. Now we will rotate our eyeballs. Open your eyes from right to top, left and down. Right, top, left and down. Opposite direction, down, left, top, right down left top right and relax close your eyes blink your eyes faster blink it faster and relax take a long deep breath in and open your eyes very gently you stand up Hands by the side of your body. We will do Tadasan. For Tadasan, gently with breathing in, raise your hands up. Interlock, interlock your fingers, your palms facing towards the ceiling. Relax. Breathe in, go up. Breathing out. Come down. Once again, breathe in. Stretch up. Hold your posture. Breathing out. Come down. Relax. Place your palms on your head. Let's keep a slight gap in between our legs. Shoulder length. Yeah. Raise your hand. Breathe in. Your palms towards the ceiling. As you breathe out, turn towards your right side. Breathe in, center. Breathe out, bend towards your left. Feel the stretch on your right. Breathe in, center. And relax. This posture is very good for the constipation. It helps increasing your height too and develop and increasing your focus and concentration. Now we will do some body rotation, a very simple exercise but very effectful. Take your head, breathe in. As you breathe out, bring your head down. Your chin touching your chest. Breathe in center. Straighten your head. Breathe out. Go back. Drop your head back. Breathe in center. Relax. Breathe out. Twist your head towards your right side. Look through your shoulder, right shoulder. Breathe in, center. Breathe out, left. Breathe in, center. And relax. Now, breathe in. And as you breathe out, bend your head towards your right shoulder. Try touching your shoulder with your ears. Don't lift your shoulder up. Breathe in center. Breathe out left. Breathe in center and relax. This is a very good exercise for relieving the tension in your neck region. Now, place both your hands on top of your shoulder. Breathe in and 
rotate your shoulder from back to front breathe in back breathe out down breathe in back out down opposite direction breathe in back and down back and down and relax now we will do a little more of stretching now we'll do sitting down postures hands in front and slowly sit down gently form the table of your body for cat and cow posture breathe in take your navel down your head up breathe out push back your navel outside and your chin touching your chest breathe in once again up look up to the ceiling breathe out come down bend down breathe in once again relax go back sit in a child posture relax your head down breathe in gently sit up now let's sit in a cross leg posture gently come out of bhujrasan sit in a cross leg posture and let's do butterfly posture this is a very good posture for female during the ones who are suffering from cramps even for male for their posture correction for straight problems breathe in and start flapping your legs gently yes your spine erect gentle smile on your face relax breathe in go back relax breathe in go back breathe out bend down and try touching your nose to your feet breathe in and relax relax and come back come out of butterfly pose these are few asanas we will conclude by doing nadi shodhan pranayam this is a breathing technique your four finger and the middle finger in between your eyebrows your thumb on a right nostril your two little fingers on left nostril close your eyes gently breathe out from left breathe in from left breathe out from right breathe in from right and breathe out from left we will do few rounds of this once we complete this round just relax bring your hands down and sit quietly with your eyes closed for a while and then we are done for the day open your eyes with a smile